So today we're going to be looking at the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. In our past, our previous lesson, we found the derivative of the inverse tan of x was equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. So it makes sense that the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx will be equal to the tan inverse tan of x plus c. Now we can do a more generalised version of this by um, extending it to be the integral of x squared plus a squared dx equals, that's a bit messy, now, here, it's important, when we're doing this general form, we're doing a squared. So you, when you see this, you need to take the square root of a, because it's going to be 1 over a, the inverse tan of x over a plus c. Now, let's do an example. I'll do it over here. So I want to find the integral of 1 over x squared plus 25 dx. Now we know that the, the, x, um, the square root of 25 is 5, so we're going to have 1 over 5, the inverse tan of x over 5 plus c. Don't forget your constant of integration. Let's do another one. So we want to find the integral of 2x squared plus 3 dx. Now, look here. We have um, a 2 here. We want to get rid of this 2. So we're going to take it out of our integral and then divide. So we'll have x squared, but we need to turn, we need to divide 3 by 2, so it's going to become 3 over 2 dx. And so that's going to give us a half. Now remember a half. Now this is going to be the... Remember it's... I'm, I'm going to write the, the rule here so we can discuss this. So remember, this is going. This is a squared. So this will be the square root um, of a squared, which is just a. So we need to take. So it's one over a. So it's going to be the square root of three over two. Tangent of tan minus one of x over square root of three over two plus c. Now we can tidy this up of a half, and this will just be 2 over 3 inverse tan of 2 over 3 x plus c. And that's the tidiest way to leave that. <clears throat> now I want to find the exact value between 0 and 2 of 1 over x squared plus 4 4 dx. So we have our integral is going to be, and this is a squared is 4, so a must be 2, so it's going to be a half tan, inverse tan of x over 2 between 0 and 2. So then we get a half inverse tan of, so it's 2 over 2 is just 1 minus half the inverse tan of 0. And that then gives us half x and um, pi over 4 minus a half times 0. So we will get pi over 8. And remember when we're doing um, integrals of trigonometric functions, we always work 
in radians unless it's otherwise stated. Always assume it's radians. So I hope that helps.